gotta move that, move that, move that, move that. I gotta move that, move that, move. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, is this thing working? It says I'm live, but something seems weird. All right, guys, we're back. And I have my mascot here to help us. He's a crazy, crazy dog. And today, well, today, and now, this, so this time around, we're going to talk about um, Greylog. So in the previous series there about Snort and the intrusion detection system, we had the logs moving over into base. And base shows us a nice, pretty little... Uh, kind of like a little dashboard here of all the alerts, stuff like that. But that's all it really does. So when we're talking about uh, system security, we're, we're also, well, well, network security, system security, the logs are probably the most important thing uh, that, well, one of the most important things we can gather. I mean, let's, I, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to diverge from the topic here, but Okay, here's Greylog, and this is supposed to be install and setup. Okay, so quick, e quick and easy, right? Okay, so quick and easy. Um, you download the OVF. If you go to the Greylog, if you type in like Greylog, Greylog uh, download, you will see that there's open source log management and there is a an ISO you can download, uh, sorry, an OVA you can download for VMware appliances. So you can get that and you can throw that on VMware, Zen or whatever, blah, 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 blah. The OVA is right here. You can get to that and you can get started fairly quickly. So once you get it installed, you're, you're presented here with this uh, dashboard. And across the top, we have some of these options. Now the first thing, and obviously the now, gray log can get a little complicated, but the first thing that you want to do is get some logs from somewhere. Let's let's bring some logs in. Uh, where are we pulling the logs from? Well, let's just say I want to pull logs from my firewall. So the first thing what we'll need to do is we'll need to go onto my firewall and we'll need to uh, enable the syslog output or whatever logging output that your firewall or network device or server or whatever supports. Now, it's fairly easy to to do that. Usually, in any web GUI of any you know sort of modern firewall, there'll be a syslogging option. You punch in the IP of your Greylog server there, and uh, you just need to go into uh, System here in Greylog and in Inputs. And under Inputs, you'll want to create a new input, and then so you can see that here that you'll select. I have already some configured. But you'll see here that, oh, well, I'll probably want syslog on UDP because UDP is uh, typically um, how syslog uses, um, oh, sorry, syslog uses UDP mostly for its communication. So you would say new syslog, and then you'll get like a launch new input window like this. And then all you have to do is select your gray log no node. And in your case, you should only have one. So it'll be the only one. Just give it a name, bind it to either any IP or the IP address of the server. Port 514 is standard for syslogging. Click on save and you'll have something here. Now, I have right now have my UBNT and snort logging to uh, gray log. And as soon as you enable the logs to from your firewall, like from my uh, edge router, uh, they will immediately start coming in because there's, there's nothing else really to do uh, with those logs. They're already parsed and in syslog format. And because we created our input as syslog, that's my dog, by the way, with all that noise. He's noisy, but you know, he's a little crazy. So we gotta leave him uh, be. Um, anyways, yeah, so because it's already using syslog, we can just click on show receive messages 
And that will bring us to a um, dashboard here. I click on show messages from that input and it's collecting messages from right now, both the edge router and the snort console. And you can see here that I have my snort set up here as uh, snorty. So as it pulls the logs in, uh, on the left-hand side here, we can also turn on and off the fields. So you can see right now, we only have the message, uh, sorry, we have message field, and we also have source turned on. But if we also wanna see like the snort alert uh, field, that's set to true. Uh, how about signature ID is probably better. So here we go. So there is my signature IDs uh, from snort. And, um, you know, so this is basically collecting all the logs. So you're like, big deal, big friggin' whoop. And I say, well, you know what? You're probably right. But what I can also do as after time, I've got obviously a lot of logs here. You can see that there's uh, 900,000 logs currently in the uh, in this database. Rocky, hey, what I can do now is, is I can easily go and say something like, well, from the space on the signature IDs, give me a chart. Oh, sorry. Sorry, uh, quick value, sorry. Charts are for, anyways, whatever, quick values. So I can quickly see here at a glance that my top signature is 19187, which is what exactly? If I click on that or I click on that, it'll show me uh, 19187, and this is, uh, this signature. So I can create some pretty cool dashboards um, just from doing zero, almost zero configuration here. This is like right out of the box and just creating the input, I can get this. Uh, what else can I do? I can, well, I can turn on like more of these and I can get more granular of what I can see here. And then I can also do the same things. I can say, well, what's the top let's say, here we go, source address, right? Source address statistics. And right here, say, okay, well, total source addresses are 13, uh, 1300. And I don't know what cardinality means, but okay, that's fine. So, okay, that's great. So we'll dismiss that one. Or I want, I don't think world map works. Does world map work? It doesn't work. I gotta figure out why it doesn't work. And then again, we can do quick values and we can see that the top value is Google's DNS server in first and third place. So obviously a lot of DN, like, well, not a lot of DNS requests, but a lot of alerts being triggered uh, from DNS, right? So, okay, let's, let's close that. So that, I mean, I don't wanna get too much into that. Um, so we can, that's how we just ingest alerts. Um, now with snort, we need to, I needed to run a script to, well, I need to, I need to input some code to parse those logs, um, so that we can break up the items individually. So if I go back here to search and if I go back to, oh, sorry, sources and I go back, sorry. Yeah. Let's go, uh, inputs and I go back to show receive messages and I click on a snort rule, oh, sorry, if I click on a snort alert, or blech. man, today's is not a good day. If I click on a snort message, you'll see that these, these mess, these um, fields are all broken up individually. And I can do things individually with them. Now, if I did not run a, a piece of uh, a piece of like extractor against them, this, some of these might be in the same header field. So for snort, you can probably find this out online, but also, you know, drop me a message if you uh, have any issues. You have to go in and create a pipeline and for a snort, right? So the pipeline, what it does is it, you basically put a rule in here and this rule will tell it how to deal with those snort messages coming in 
and how to basically break them up into fields, right? So it says like, it's, it's not too complicated. Well, some of the regex might be, um, like look at the regex, right? And, but then you're basically setting fields for different uh, pieces of text in that message. So for snort to get them all broken up like that, you can insert that rule. If you don't wanna break them up like that, and this is just for funsies, then you can just leave them uh, generated as they come in. There won't be as many fields uh, broken down for you. But that's pretty much it on the installation, which is basically the OVA file, just download it and run it. And number one, and the first thing is get some logs going. So I don't know, I hope that's, uh, does that make sense? I hope so.